Once upon a while, a tong tong lime ago, there lived a little girl named Prinderella. Now Prinderella lived with her wicked web stutter and her two sisty uglers. Prinderella had to dork like a wog around the place. She had to up and scrosh, book and cake, dough and sign, but she didn't mind. Now one day the kints of the Pringdom announced a drancy fest ball, to which all of the eligible earls were invited. Prinderella's two sisty uglers had drancy new fesses to wear, but all Prinderella had was some dirty old dags that she wouldn't be caught dead in. Now after Prinderella's two sisty uglers had left for the ball, Prinderella just cat right down inside. Suddenly her merry fought gutter appeared and said, Prinderella, cry to you why? Well, Prinderella told her the whole tad sail, and then Prinderella's Mary Fodgutter said, Prinderella, can't dry, you're going to the gall. And with that, she staved her wick. And in the inkling of a twy, she changed a cumpkin into a poach and several heises into morses. Then she staved her wick again. And there stood Prinderella in the dranciest fess you ever saw. And she said, Prinderella, when you get to the ball, you must leave before the last moke of Stridnight, or the spell is off. Well, when she got there, all of the eligible earls were prancing with the dints. And then the dints pranced with Prinderella, and it was slain to pee that the dints and Prinderella had lollin' in fun. Suddenly, Prinderella heard the first moke of Stridnight. And she rushed from the palace, but in the middle of the palace steps, she slopped her dripper. Now the very next day, the kins of the Pringdom announced that he would marry the girl who could shit that foo. Well, when he got to Prinderella's house, the two sisty uglers wanted to shy on the true. The first sisty ugler, she shied on the true, but it fitn't it. And then the second sisty ugler, she shied on the true too, but it fitn't it either. And then Prinderella came down the stairs and she said, May I sly on that tripper? And fadit. Needless to say, Prinderella and the Sins were married and lived happily after everward. He is gone.